Death Egg Zone. I should probably mention that there are no rings, so be careful. So this is Silver Sonic. Just go to where he's going to land, roll into a ball, and just rev up your spin dash. You'll get a bunch of hits in. Technically, you can hit him four times, but you need to let go of your spin dash as soon as you hit him the fourth time or you're going to get hit. And with no rings, you better be careful. Then all you gotta do is just wait for him to go to the other side, and you can do exactly the same thing. I think this method is pretty fast, I'm sure there's a faster method, but th this will get you pretty consistent results. Then as soon as the door opens, run to the very end of the room and just be patient. If you needed proof that Robotnik is faster than Sonic, here is your definitive proof. What you want to do is you want to get behind the Death Egg Robot, I think that's what it's called, because it's very easy to consistently get multiple hits if you get enough height with your jump. Just make sure you jump over the fire, otherwise it's going to kill you. After a few seconds, he's going to fly up into the air and target you with the targeting reticle. Go to this specific pillar, grab your spin dash, and then move to the right. You should always end up behind him. When he lands, you're going to need to be a little bit patient, because he always drops two sets of bombs and then goes back up to the sky. Repeat the crushing process again. When he comes down, he'll only drop one set of bombs, he'll start to move forward, and then you can safely hit him again. Hit him multiple times. You should be able to do this in just two passes. I should mention the distance of the bombs that he fires differs a little bit each time, so if you know that they're going to be really close to him, you can probably sneak a hit in, but I wouldn't say that it's very safe. You won't be able to do it consistently, and it's very dangerous, and with a one-hit kill, I wouldn't recommend it. Because if you die, you gotta do all this over again. I don't really like trying to hit him from the front. His claw arms are kind of deceptive about where they can hit you in the animation, so it's always a toss-up whenever you jump at him of whether or not you're safe. After you defeat Robotnik, there's only one thing left to do. Jump off into SPACE! When this game was on the Genesis, it was like 240p, something like that. So I don't understand why, one, this picture isn't black and white, and two, it's really small. Cartridge space, maybe? I don't know. You know, this song is pretty catchy by itself, but you know what it really needs? A remix by Akon. And I'm not bashing Akon or anything, I actually really like that song. If you think about it, Sonic R kind of had that thing going on where it was just really weird. I think everybody loves the song Super Sonic Racing. Did you know that it's physically impossible for a hedgehog to burn up in the atmosphere? Well, now you do. Thanks, Sega! Of the two different endings, I think this one's the best one. I know that I was bashing Tails before, but I really like the teamwork between Sonic and Tails. I think, conceptually, that's really good. It's also nice to see that Tails finally got rid of that stupid rocket and actually put landing gear on his plane. Good job, Tails. You figured it out. Good job. I'm proud of you. Great. Awesome. So, some of the music you hear here actually is in the game, it's in the multiplayer, because for some reason, Sega thought it would be a good idea to do split-screen multiplayer. For multiplayer, you race the other person, one person plays as Tails, the other plays as Sonic, and you can, you can race in the actual stages, the full stage lengths, with different monitors giving you weird power-ups. Uh, I don't know why they decided to give it their own music, but I think some of them are really good. I like, I think it's Mystic Cave Zone's extra soundtrack that sounds pretty good. Oh, there it is, you too, Yuji Naka. See, I knew it. I knew it. Junie Toyota? Why did you change your name? Did you think that people would be afraid of your Japanese name in the English-speaking countries? It's kind of... I don't know. Whatever. Toyota! Wait a minute. Object placement? It was you! You're the one! It's your fault Metropolis Zone is the way it is! And you're the asshole responsible for Special Stage 3, god damn it! I hope your dreams really did come true.
I bet this game came with a really cool color manual. Those were the days. Don't worry, Robotnik won't be that smug for long. See you next time.